A joint venture between Rolls-Royce and Hindustan Aeronautics is actively exploring the possibility of establishing five new manufacturing units in Tamil Nadu. Indian Navy destroyers conducted a joint maritime exercise with the US Navy's carrier strike group 9. Pakistan's chief of general staff visited Russia and has requested Russia to sell armored personnel carriers transport helicopters and small arms to Pakistan. Indian startup Star Aerospace has delivered 3000 AK mod kits to the Assam police. Z Business has reported that Astramark 2 final testing will be completed in the next 6 months and Bharat Dynamics will be awarded a 3000 crore rupees contract by December 2024. Hyderabad based Tanaja Aerospace and Aviation Limited has secured a contract for the modification and installation of Sarang Electronic Support Measure Kits on 12 CAM of 31 helicopters of the Indian Navy. Several European countries have shown interest in 155mm 39 caliber Bharat Ultralight Howitzer and Garuda 105V2 Ultralight Weight Mobile Gun System. New Space Research and Technologies have successfully completed the development of an autonomous first responder drone for indoor environment. The Tejas aircraft has hit a roadblock in its potential export to Botswana Defence Force, as discussions between Botswana Defence Force and Hindustan Aeronautics regarding the Tejas acquisition have reportedly stalled. Despite initial inquiries, Argentina, Malaysia, Egypt and Nigeria has also decided against the Tejas and Prachand helicopter. Bharat Karnad, a top national security expert has implied that there is a lack of confidence in the success of the Tejas and AMCA programs within certain circles of the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force is considering a new approach for maintaining the F-404 engines that will power its Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The plan involves bypassing Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and working directly with General Electric as this approach will streamline the spare parts and supply chain process, and will eliminate the need for unnecessary middlemen. South Korea had a chief transfer of technology for the F-404 engine, which ensured a stable engine supply chain, that helped to maintain a high production rate for its F-A-50 aircraft. Apart from the 99 engines for 83 Tejas Mark 1A contract, the Indian Air Force's plan to procure 97 more Tejas Mark 1A aircraft will translate into a requirement for an additional 120 engines, and a future engine replacement on the total 180 Tejas Mark 1A is considered. The Air Force will need 300 more F-404 engines, so acquiring transfer of technology for the F-404 engine is crucial to mitigate future supply chain disruptions and delays. SAP Aerospace has proposed the development of a new medium-altitude long-endurance drone named Blackbird, that is designed to operate at medium altitudes of up to 16,404 feet, which will enable the UAV to perform a wide array of missions. It will have a maximum speed of 396 km per hour, an endurance of 10 hours, and a 4.5-meter wingspan, which should make it smaller than the Israeli searcher tactical UAV. Abhya Aerospace India Private Limited will showcase its next-generation swarm drone technology to the Indian Army by end of 2025, that will feature sophisticated artificial intelligence and communication protocols, high-altitude and all-weather capability, and will operate cooperatively to undertake a wide range of missions critical for defense and extensive surveillance. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.